Hey John, it's Mitch. I got your Gen 5 harness done and I just wanted to show you everything I did and make sure we're both on the same page. So here's the finished harness. I have it hooked to a battery and my snap-on scanner to show you everything works. Um, first we'll go ahead and turn it on. Um, this is your interior harness. It runs from this area coming to your interior and there's only two wires you hook up and everything's labeled. Uh, 12 volts brake applied to the blue wire and this is your single ignition turn off. Pull this over. All right, throttle body came to life. The scanner should connect momentarily. All right, the scanner. All right, I have your computer hooked up. This is 2016 Silverado 5.3. Go to engine. And what I'm going to do is just show you, um, since this is running a Corvette pedal on a truck operating system, I rewired it to work right. This saved reduced engine power. That's because the fuel pressure system isn't hooked up. The fuel rail sensor has to be hooked up or it believes it's in, uh, it just goes and reduce power. Right now, APP sensors one and two match. We'll go here. This is really what we care about. You see the percentage here is at zero. I'm pushing the pedal. You can see they both move together. So we're good there. If it was wired in correctly, one would work, the other wouldn't, or they would uh, not read together. Next, this is kind of new. This is your Dakota Digital BIM module. So I bought the connectors down here and terminals so I could hardwire it directly in for a very clean install. And it looks like this is the only thing that uh, plugs into either your gauges or a different module. That's all it came with it. If it says F, that means it's on the GM CAN bus. Um, so I just unplugged the CAN bus connector and it also has power. So it's searching for a network. I plug it in and it finds it. But once it's hooked to your gauges, it, I'm not sure of what it'll display here, but there is some setup stuff here. Next, this is the wiring for your Spirit Tech module. I have everything labeled here, telling you what the wires are. Basically, since it's just a simple canvas module, it's just going to have your can high and low and ignition and power. Um, Corvette pedal. And uh, I'm going to finish labeling the harness. I'm going to label every single thing on here, except for coils. Those really can't be messed up. Here's your fuel pressure control module. It's wired into the harness here, as you can see. Um, I'm going to give you my low pressure fuel sensor and adapter that plugs in here. These are your power and ground wires for this. Next, this is the main battery wire for the harness. This plugs into the alternator stud. So hook that up and that gives it battery power. Next, you got your fan PWM signal harness. Highly recommend running a Camaro SS fan. And like I said, I got to finish labeling everything. This is your MAF sensor, your MAF sensor. Make it a little long because it's hard to tell. I don't know what the customers are really going with it. Throw our body alternator. And let me find, here's your MAP sensor you requested. So it's extended. Now I went through the harness with a brush and cleaned all the connectors up. So everything looks pretty new. Put a lot of time into it. Hope you like it. Um, you have a service engine soon light here. And this is, I'll label this wire. This is also a service engine, just a signal in case Dakota Digital needs it. But since it's through CAN bus, it should just come on in the gauge. And then this can just be removed. You can just sniff it off if you don't want the LED light. 
and then the bracket, the mount you'll get will house this and the computer together and also have a standalone mount for this that will hold it right there. It'll look real nice. Okay, let's get started. That's where we're at. I think it looks like new again. And as long as you're fine with it, I'll package it up, ship it out today. And uh, on this bin module, it's the first one I've done. It's really extremely simple. You just have two CAN signals, high and low. I verified these are wired correct. You have a ground and ignition. Um, that's good. And then there's another power that goes onto this side. So. Um, we'll just see how it goes. As far as I know, it, it is working, but I'd like to see these flashing, but it might have to be running. That's pretty cool. Well, you can just mount that under the dash. And then, I said, I did my best to label um, everything, even here, every wire is labeled, so there shouldn't be too many questions on what does what. All right, well, let me know, John. Thanks. Bye.